EDR is extremely important for building XDR. Usually it's not possible to find all solutions with the required quality from one vendor. Uh, building XDR looks more uh, profitable uh, in the long term. There is definitely some marketing involvement here. Regarding the combination of XDR and Zero Trust, uh, the following approaches can be applied. In the future, uh, the problem of weak compatibility can be solved. A combination of SOC expertise and XDR may be most effective strategy. There is no confusion to my mind. XDR is a natural evolution of security operation center tools like EDR or network traffic analysis solution to solve the following tasks. Uh, the first, the ability to detect hidden attacks. Uh, the second, reduce uh, the time of detection, investigation and response. And it is done by uh, supporting different telemetry sources, at least the endpoint and the network. And also cloud is very welcome. Also, uh, customers have known for a long time, but vendors have finally understood that. Uh, usually, it's not possible to find all solutions with the required quality from one vendor. Therefore, uh, in term XDR, we usually mean uh, support of multiple vendors. Uh, in my point of view, uh, the variety of opinions is because this market is in its emergent stage and the terminology has not been yet established. Uh, I believe that XDR is primarily an approach or a concept rather than a product. Uh, it is an approach that means the uh, consolidation of detection and response as opposed to, to two separate processes. Uh, the way different vendors implement this approach also varies widely depending on many factors, but it is clear that vendors build their own XDR based on their own strengths and gradually close the weaknesses through integrations, uh, partnership, in-house development, or even buying uh, off-the-shelf technologies uh, companies and incorporating them into their own XDR portfolio. Yes, uh, this is how it's done. People have realized that it's not always possible to detect attacks by analyzing events only from endpoints. And uh, XDR is evolution of EDR that provides new features like triage of alerts. Here I mean uh, checking detection of one system using the detections of uh, another system. Uh, the next thing that XDR gives us is attack investigation in various environments like endpoint, network, cloud container infrastructures. Uh, the next thing that is also very important, uh, threat detection at various stages. Uh, it is clear that persistence, privilege escalation are well detected from the endpoint, but uh, reconnaissance, exfiltration, communication with command and control centers are also well detected from the network. If we are taking into account container infrastructures, then it's a slightly different story at all. I don't think so, except with uh, disclaimers and limitations. EDR is extremely important for building XDR, but hosts are just one of several layers of visibility. The concept of XDR assumes the need uh, to address multiple layers, uh, network, mail, service, cloud workloads, identity. Why? Because the idea behind XDR is to provide maximum visibility when detecting attacks that are becoming increasingly complex in terms of vectors, techniques, tools used, and they are often very long in time. And it is the visibility that allows for the widest possible context to detect and subsequently respond to threats. To summarize, having only EDR currently looks insufficient for a major competitive XDR. The term XDR itself implies multi-vendor support. So the ability to connect third-party solutions to XDR is native. However, 
not all vendors support a single taxonomy of events, and this is maybe a big problem. Therefore, a mono vendor XDR will demonstrate the benefits of particular solution to greater extent. Uh, regarding API, I'm not sure that all solutions on the market provide an API. But due to the rapid development of cloud environments, microservice architectures, the API-first approach is becoming more uh, widespread. Therefore, in the future, uh, the problem of weak compatibility can be solved. As for now, we may, uh, for example, well buy wheels from one manufacturer uh, for a car from another manufacturer. It all depends on the current state of the cybersecurity in the company, its budget and its uh, maturity. Also, uh, building XDR looks more uh, profitable uh, in the long term based on a single vendor solution as the platform for XDR. But it's uh, worth paying attention to platforms that have extensive capabilities for integrations with third-party solutions. Uh, this will allow using integrations uh, with the company current products, uh, diversifying vendor lock-in risks, and optimizing the cost of system development budget. Such a platform can deliver key XDR technologies. Uh, for example, native EDR cross-correlation technologies, attack detection engines, but also provide extensive integration capabilities with third-party systems. Uh, collection of logs and telemetry from third-party products or systems, uh, integration with uh, third-party response products, for example, NGVV or DLP. Uh, most modern cybersecurity products have uh, APIs for integrations already. Personally, I don't have that feeling. Uh, let me explain my point. Seam and SOAR have long evolved as a separate classes of products, each solving its own class of problems, but integrating with each other. Uh, XDR uh, is an evolutionary step to bring these product classes together uh, to give a better user experience to SOC analysts. Through close integration, XDR can own the holistic threat landscape and build the big picture from weak signals. Let's learn by example. XDR, having data from different levels, can assemble from disparate groups of alerts a single incident that contains all the necessary context for an analyst or even uh, an automated response and do it in a single interface with minimal transaction costs. There is definitely some marketing involvement here. However, for most practitioners, SIEM, SOAR and XDR are still different things. SIM is usually more about detection and investigation of threats. SOAR is more about investigating and responding on threats. And XDR is a combination of them. We can consider that XDR is the development of known so far methods of detecting, investigating and responding on threats. The fundamental difference here in, in the word Response. Typically, uh, in SIEM, response capabilities, if any, are limited. We are not currently considering situations where SIEM users modify them uh, on their own, integrating the functionality of incident response platforms uh, or threat intelligence platforms um, in order to eventually obtain XDR in some form. The core functionality of SIEM is to collect, normalize, correlate data from different systems and uh, provide analytical tools for uh, parsing the data. Uh, most uh, modern SIEMs uh, also have case management, some with uh, ability to trigger responses. Also, an important and underrated part of XDR is the uh, seamless user experience. Uh, the analyst can navigate all the way from the incident to the specific events that caused it or in reverse in a single interface. There's also the ability to work together to build an uh, incident workflow, uh, the ability to invoke responses, to create playbooks and to uh, automate typical enrichment or response scenarios.
always first there is a need and only then we choose a tool. If an enterprise does not feel the need for XDR, then it does not have uh, corresponding problems. On the other hand, when an enterprise has many sources of security events, these events need to be mutually enriched, um, matched with different threat intelligence data, and then the enterprise should also uh, respond on that thread, um, preferably in automated way. This is where XDR will help. I will highlight several possible reasons. Uh, first, the complexity of managing a mass of siloed, fully integrated uh, security tools. Second, uh, lack of efficiency in responding to incidents. For example, a large volume of alerts that take a lot of time to trash. Uh, a lot of false positive, uh, regular uh, cybersecurity incidents that cause damage. Indeed, XDR and the Zero Trust approach can be considered uh, part of an organization's overall security strategy. Regarding the combination of XDR and Zero Trust, uh, the following approaches can be applied. First, XDR can collect data from various sources, such as endpoints, network logs, applications, and others. This allows full visibility of events and traffic on an organization's network, as well as detection of suspicious activity that may be related to access policy violations. Uh, second, uh, the zero trust approach requires users and device to be strictly identified and authenticated before access to resources is granted. XDR solutions uh, can integrate with the access management systems and multi-factor authentication systems to provide strong authentication uh, before granting access to data and applications. Third, XDR solutions provide the ability to automate security incident response processes. A combination of XDR and Zero Trust can enable automatic blocking of uh, suspicious devices or accounts, taking steps to isolate or restrict access when suspicious activity is detected. Zero Trust approach is the development of the access control and XDR is the development of security operations tools. They have little overlap, but of course they can be combined. For example, in response part, then we can block access of compromised subject to secured objects. I would say that we should not confuse uh, performance and their instruments. XDR is a tool and Security Operations Center are those who use it. Like Kalashnikov rifle is a tool and shooter is one who shoots from this machine gun. The user, of course, can cope without tools, but this will be much less efficient and effective. Well, there is a different things again. XDR is a tool used by end user in order for the researcher to be used by a uh, band user, it must be wrapped into some kind of product. For example, an XDR. Uh, the question of replacing XDR with research uh, also sounds like whether it's possible to replace clothes or shoes with relevant research. Uh, research should always be turned into product that further will be used to provide a value for consumer. XDR is a solution designed to improve SOC team performance and effectively detect and respond cyber threats. It aggregates data from various sources, analyzes it and enables the automation of security incident response processes. Experienced SOC professionals are important and essential to the success of the SOC team. They have in-depth knowledge of cybersecurity, can understand the context and complexities of specific situations, uh, and can make informed decisions based on their experience. A combination of SOC expertise and XDR may be most effective strategy. 
I suppose that XDR hardly ever uh, can be completely replaced by the expertise of researchers. Experienced cybersecurity researchers play an important role in analyzing complex attacks, developing new methods to detect and respond to threats, and discovering and researching vulnerabilities and new types of malware. It is ideal to use XDR and SOC expertise together. XDR helps automate routine tasks, anomaly detection, and incident alerting, allowing the SOC team to focus on more complex, high-level tasks requiring expertise and research. This achieves more effective cyber threat detection, analysis and response. Response is simplified by speed, coverage or visibility and uh, adequacy. The adequacy of the response is determined by uh, completeness of the attack investigation which in turn is determined by the completeness of collected telemetry and the quality of threat intelligence data. Researchers are always helped by any practice of investigation and response on threats because it always uh, allows them to develop um, technologies uh, so that in future, detection and response uh, will be more effective and efficient. Let me list a few factors. First, data aggregation. XDR integrates uh, data from various sources, such as perimeter uh, protection systems, uh, hosts, uh, servers, applications, network devices, event logs, and many others. Uh, this provides a holistic view uh, of network activity and system behavior making it easier to detect complex threats. Second, contextualization and correlation. XDR uses analytics and algorithms uh, to analyze and link data to identity connections between different events and activities in the network. Uh, this helps identity complex threats that may not be obvious when looking at each event in isolation. Third, response automation. XDR provides capabilities to automate routine tasks such as blocking suspicious IP addresses, enforcing security policies or running response scripts. This allows the SOC team to respond to threats quickly and efficiently, uh, freeing up time to more complex, less formalized tasks. Fourth, complete threat picture. XDR provides visibility and analysis uh, of threats at different stages of the attack chain, uh, from the point of intrusion to possible propagation with the network. This helps researchers understand what techniques were used by attackers and what additional steps can be taken to prevent future attacks. Fifth, search and intelligence. A good XDR provides the ability to search through historical events and uses machine learning algorithms to identify anomalies and patterns that may indicate the presence of threats. This helps researchers find hidden complex threats that might be missed by manual analysis. I think that XDR solves the problem of centralized management of detection and response. Uh, as a result, we get a reduction in the time to detect, investigate, contain and respond to threat. XDR solves the main pain point of complexity and fragmentation in security operations for average organizations. With multiple security tools and data silos, detecting and responding to threats becomes slower and less effective. XDR provides a unified platform that integrates data from different sources such as EDR, NTA, and GPV and many others. This consolidation enables better visibility and correlation of security events, leading to faster threat detection and response. By automating threat analysis and leveraging advanced analytics, XDR improves incident response capabilities and enhances uh, overall security. 
the short answer uh, is to improve operational efficiency for SOC, reducing risks from cyber threats to business. Uh, XDR, by consolidating various data sources and tools into a single interface, makes SOC operations more efficient uh, per unit of time, allowing more effective threat response and risk mitigation, which in turn can directly impact business metrics. If the company has a security operations center in place and all the tools have been bought, then this organization definitely has XDR already implemented and working well. If this mature company does not yet have XDR, then they need to buy it as soon as possible 